it's me, Crystal. And Fair Blue Box came in the mail today. And the Lit Joy Box will be here in a couple of days. So, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and get this opened. And this is James' box. And I think the theme is Animal Companions. What do we see? So, Animal Companions. And this is a spoiler card. So, let's set this aside. I'm just going to go ahead and take this out first. So it looks like we have a ceramic pot inspired by Crescent City. Pretty. So this is what this looks like. Not sure what to do with this. I guess I'm going to put my bookmarks in here. That's a good idea. I feel like my bookshelves have looked different every single time I've filmed the last several weeks. But I'm almost done rearranging everything. So and next we have this. And it says this is a Raven Sleep Cycle pillowcase. Oh, so this is like an actual pillowcase. Because a lot of times I feel like when I get a pillowcase in a book box, it's like for a decorative pillow, which is fine. Because I am using one of them that I got in a crate this year. Oh, there's two. So, what is going on here? It says the heart is all fire. I am not familiar with the Raven Cycle, but I will put this with my pillowcases. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a pen. Oh, this is cute. We have a delivery cat. What is this from? The only thing I can think of is Sabrina the Teenage Witch or Kiki's Delivery Service. That is really cute. I know it's kind of blurry, probably on the camera, but you can still tell how cute it is. It's cute. Oh, then we have this. A Kingdom of the Wicked acrylic standy. Okay. So we have a stand. And this guy, I forget his name. I've read a little bit of the book because there's a sequel coming out later this year. And I was trying to figure out if I wanted to get the sequel or not. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get it even though I'm still a little bit on the fence about the book. Um, what is his name? Rath? I don't know. Does he have a name? <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I don't hate it. Um, so we'll, we'll have to think about, we'll have to think about this. Really well made though. But yeah, he looks pretty cool. And he looks like he has some hellhounds with him, some beasties. And then there's this. I think these might be bookmarks or a bookmark. Oh, that's pretty. I don't know what this is. Some kind of tin. It's kind of flexible tin material. So we have a dragon. That's nice. And this on the back. We have a fire breathing dragon wrapped around a tower. I like this. And then we have our tarot cards. So we have the page of one, knight of wands, and I know what this is from now because this has to be the same guy. It looks just like him. Yes. So uh, these are from Kingdom of the Wicked. I forgot her name too. But yeah, that's got to be our main character, right? Her and Ra. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure what book this is. I'm pretty sure I know what book is in July's box. Um, so we're really looking forward to that. But yeah, we have some yellow and paper, which is a little obnoxious. Not necessarily in a bad way. So I'm going to take out this and our bookmark. <laughs> and what else is in here? Oh, pretty. Some character art. And our letter from the author. So let's see what our book is. Oh, this is pretty. I didn't choose you and you didn't choose me, but we have each other now, always. 
Two Sisters Divided They Burn, Fire With Fire by Destiny Soria. Interesting. Okay. She's fine. Oh, pretty. So it looks like we have some dragons. We have some dragons in this book. So this is what a hardcover looks like. Kind of dragon. This is so yellow. It's pretty. I, I don't I don't love yellow, but it is pretty. Very sunshiny and bright and happy. <laughs> and then we have art on the dust jackets. Okie dokie. Interesting. So, oh no, I want to give this a try. It's obviously, if you know me, I don't read a lot of books with dragons. So, it sounds interesting. Um, it's about these two sisters, and they're like, I think they're raised to be dragon slayers, and one of them, she's kind of like, I just want to be a normal teenager, and the other one is like, dragon slaying is life, and then one day, one of them meets a dragon, and like, forms a friendship with the dragon, and they end up on opposite sides of a war, and then there's, the blurb ends, and... It's kind of cliche, but it's one of my favorite <laughs> blurb endings. And it says, The two are playing with magic that is more dangerous than they can imagine. And there is another more powerful enemy waiting for them both in the shadows. Don't ask why that's exciting. I don't know. I don't know. I think this, I think this sounds interesting. I was reading a little bit of it. As I, as I like to do. And... It's definitely like a, it's definitely contemporary fantasy, which is way more of my alley. So then, you know, more traditional fantasy. I was not expecting that because of the dragons, but yeah, it's a pleasant surprise. So let's go through our spoiler card and I will get this on the shelf. I was really looking at my bookshelves for a couple of reasons, and one of the reasons is I decided I want to have, like, a special edition shelf since I'm getting special edition books. So, this will be part of my special edition shelf. Okay, so the spoiler card is saying that this is a flower pot, a bookish flower pot, but you can also store your bookmarks in it or use it as a pen holder. So, since I don't currently have anything to put my bookmarks in, they're literally just sitting there in a pile. I'm very excited to have a bookmark holder. And I'm going to be using this bookmark soon because this is really nice. And then, speaking of bookmarks, this middle bookmark is inspired by the priority, <laughs> the priority of the orange tree by Samantha Shannon. Have heard of that. Have heard of Samantha Shannon. We have the bone season. By Samantha Shannon. Ooh. Okay, so the pillow covers feature quotes from the Raven Cycle series by Maggie Stiefvater. Are there different quotes? Okay, so each of the pillowcases have a different quote in them, actually. So this one says the head is too wise. And this one says the heart is all fire. They smell really good. Okay, and then our pen is from Kiki's Delivery Service. It is Gigi. Oh, this is so cute. I'm gonna hang this up. And then we have our acrylic Sandy. I guess his name is Wrath. So, I will say, like, when I was reading it, because I was reading it last week, actually, I wasn't like connecting with the story, but it is very interesting. I do wanna know what happens. Oh my gosh. What? They're saying these are inspired by Serpent and Dove. Am I crazy? This does not look exactly like this guy. That has to be a misprint, right? Because we had Serpent and Dove last month in May's box and in April's box. Okay, so that has to be some kind of misprint because they're, it's literally the same. We're just going to say these are from Kingdom of the Wicked and see if they post something on Instagram about it. And then we have our book, Fire with Fire, and it says it's a contemporary fantasy, yay. 
filled with sarcastic characters, dragons, action, and a dash of romance. Yeah. I'm slowly reading more and more traditional fantasy, but contemporary fantasy is definitely way more of my life. And I've not heard of this book, so that's exciting. Too, we get to try it out, see what I think. I'm kind of hoping this is a standalone, but it's okay if it's not. I don't know. I love this. That looks really nice. So this is all for the fairy loot portion of the unboxing video. And I should have my Lid Joy crate in a couple of days for me and a couple of seconds for you. Ahoy! So, Lid Joy crate came in today. And it came in actually the day after Fairy Loot Crate. So that's exciting. Let's get this open. All right, so this is the spring box with a theme of wishes and curses. I'm very excited. I'm pretty sure I know what book is in here. I did a little bit of research when they announced the box. It's been a while, so I don't remember the name of the book, but I know it's like fairy tale like and dark. So I'm excited to see it. I haven't had a Lit Joy box since I want to say like October, September or October of last year. So they made some changes this year. I think starting at the beginning of this year, they has decided to start doing quarterly boxes instead of monthly boxes. And they've also decided to start doing customizations. And so originally you would get a signed regular edition of the book with maybe a reversible dust jacket. So I'm excited to see like, you know, what they're doing now and whatever. So the first thing I pulled out of here is a coin purse and it says admit one main gates close at midnight to be used once to gain entrance into Carval. So I'm pretty sure this is a Carval change purse. And if you don't know, I am pretty much known for having an impractical purse. So a lot of times my purses don't have any pockets. <laughs> they don't have any like interior pockets. So I actually have a purse full of stuff like this. So this will probably definitely get some use and this is cute. So tassel. So obviously this is from Carnival. Okay, so the next thing I'm pulling out is this. So I know what this is, but I'm not sure what I'm supposed to put in here, but this is a silicone mold and it's Cinderella branded. And I do use stuff like this. I could have used this a couple of days ago because I make soap. It's, it's just glycerin soap, it's not fancy. And I could have made some glycerin soap, but I'll use this next time and have some little Cinderella soaps. And then we get a notepad. So we get an as you wish list. And I will stick this on the fridge. This is cute. And as you wish is from the Princess Bride, if you don't know. My Princess Bride. Such a good movie. And also, if you don't know, I love paper. So I use stuff like this all the time. There's a lot of stuff in here. Alright, so next I have this box. Oh. The little teacup. Also, also, if you don't know, I like little, cute little things. And so I will put this with the rest of my little teacups. I don't know what this is from. It looks like Aladdin though. Cause he kind of looks like Aladdin. She kind of looks like Jasmine, right? When she escapes the palace, she has a hood over her head. This is cute. It's very unique design too. So we're excited to see it. So next we have a little wooden box and says, I remember you. So it has like magnets on the lid. I feel like I should know what this is from. I don't know, I'm reading The Last Unicorn right now. So it's making me think of The Last Unicorn, but I, I don't know why they would have a Last Unicorn branded thing. A fairy tale box. Okay. And next we have this. It's like old school birthday party having all these things to open. Ah, this is so cute. Okay, so we have a magic carpet looking. Saucer thing. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. So 
so cute. I really love stuff like this. I know they're not up everybody's alley, but I really love stuff like this. All right, so looks like we have a bookmark and they have like these passport stickers that they're doing and the passport booklet is free. So I did finally get a passport booklet. I don't know who they are, but we'll definitely use it. And then we have what I think is a sticker and it says fear and bravery are often one and the same. That's nice. And then we have some artwork. Oh, pretty. Really pretty. And a note from the author. Long note from the author. So we're going to get this read. If you don't know, I read these after I film and then I stick this in the back of the book so I can keep up with it. And then we always know where our author letters are. Okay. So we have this. I can kind of see the title. I'm excited. I love fairy tales so much. And I don't remember what this is a retelling of. Maybe it's Cinderella. I think it is Cinderella. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> so we have this beautiful tale. And this is our book. Oh, yes. So we have The Shadow in the Glass by J.J.A. Harwood. And the tagline says, Dare to Make a Wish. I'm excited to have this. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So we have this in paper. And then we have our hardcover. And so uh, these book boxes were supposed to ship out, I think, at the end of May. But they literally just got the books from the publisher. Everyone's working so hard. And we have this going on on the other side of the dust jacket. Oh, pretty. And I do appreciate when they put the title of the book on the spine, just because, you know, I like consistency over here. And she signed. And then we have the artwork again on the other side of the signed page, which is just gorgeous. Very pretty book. Okay, so yes, this is Cinderella retelling, and it's about Ella. And Ella is a maid, and then one day, fairy godmother comes to her, and she's like, I will give you seven wishes. And you can do whatever you want with these wishes. You can have anything you want. But every time she makes a wish, it, like, comes at a price. And I don't know what that price is, but I'm really interested to find out. And I heard this was dark, and I really, really like me a dark fairy tale and a dark fairy tale retelling. So... I'm really looking forward to this. And this is so pretty. And then, of course, add this to my book sleeve collection. I do really like these, by the way. So let's check our spoiler card, our spoiler booklet, and see what everything is. And it sounds like, based on the blurb, that this creepy woman back here is actually the fairy godmother. So that's a nice twist. And she works, um, she's a maid working under her stepfather. So that's another fun twist. A little bit of gender swapping. This says it is a smoldering, terrifying new spin on Cinderella. Please. <laughs> so it says that this is an ice tray. So let's put some water in this and make some ice because it'll be a while before I'm making more soap. We have Cinderella in a pumpkin carriage and slipper ice. And then of course the Princess Bride magnetic notepad. Love this. Okay, so this is a from Blood and Ash sticker. Okay, and man, everybody is on the from, from Blood and Ash bandwagon right now. Let me tell you. I'm missing out. <laughs> That's cute. I'll put this wherever I keep my stickers. Where do I keep my stickers? Oh my gosh, what is this series? I've gotten so much stuff from this Devabad series. 
So this is not Aladdin. It's the City of Brass. Is the City of Brass an Aladdin retelling? So it says our teacup and saucer are inspired um, by City of Brass. Oh, City of Brass is a David Bad trilogy. Well, at least I know a book now. <laughs> Cause like I keep getting stuff for that fandom and I'm like, what is this thing? This is, oh gosh. I love this. Oh, this makes so much sense. Okay, so we have An Invisible Life of Addie LaRue, a wooden box. You know what? I'm going to put my temporary tattoos in here. <laughs> I have like a bunch of temporary tattoos that are like small. I'm going to stick them in here because right now they're just sitting there and they're not safe right there. Does that make sense? I remember you. I still need to read that. They keep coming out with all these special editions, but I'm like, I haven't read my copy yet. And then we have a Carval zipper pouch. I really like the write-up they have for everything. But anyway, then we have a Cassian and Nessa photo strip. Who's that? Cassian and Nessa from the Akatar series. So a Court of Thorns and Roses. Oh, does Cassian have wings or is this just like, he's like a fairy, so they put wings on the artwork. I obviously don't know who these people are, but I have heard of the series. And Nessa's the main character in A Court of Silver Flames, right? I hear stuff. And then we have a Summer's Theme, which is Galaxy Guardians. Also, I realized I forgot... To show you what fairy loots July theme is. So let me go grab that booklet so I can show you. So fairy loots July theme is Tales Retold. I'm like 100% sure I know what that book is. So we're looking forward to that. But yeah, this was like probably my favorite lip joy box that I've ever gotten. The only time I've been more excited to see a book was when I got Winter Woods by Shay Earnshaw. Still haven't read it though. <laughs> so, new book babies. And yeah, I'm excited about these. And that is all. <laughs> so that's all for this video. Let me know if you've heard of any of these books that they sound interesting based on the fantastic, you know, descriptions that I gave for these books. And yeah, do you have a favorite item for any of these boxes? I think I'm gonna have to go with like the metal bookmark that came with the fairy loot box and this teacup set that came in this one. So yes, I'm very happy to see this box and I'm very happy with everything in this box. And yeah, I think, you know, they're working really hard, they're doing a great job. And you know, I, Hope to pick up another one at some point. I don't want the summer box um because I'm not you know super into sci-fi but you know maybe we'll pick up the winter box but yes I'm so excited about <laughs> this book and yeah this is gorgeous it's perfect just perfect and yeah so I will see you guys next week the reading wrap up for this month it's gonna be interesting yeah i was like i've been completely off the rails from my tbr like we'll see what happens you know in this last week but i don't think um we're gonna have read a lot or have read a lot off of the tbr part of the reason is because um i had a hole at the library and you know, it was time for me to pick it up. And so obviously I had to prioritize that book. And then while I was there, I saw this book that was on my Goodreads TBR. And so I also picked up that book and I'm reading that one now. And yeah. <laughs> but anyway, that's totally okay. And I'll figure out what to do if I'm just going to roll everything over or what I'm going to do. I don't know. But <laughs> I will see you guys next week. And the reading wrap up for July should be interesting. And yeah, hope you had a decent month. My month has been weird, but 
I think it's been good, mostly, or at least partially, and at least at the very beginning and now. So that's great, and we're happy about that. So I will see you guys next week, and bye. Mm -hmm.